Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing my Star Wars uh, First Order Stormtrooper Executioner. Now, this is the Stormtrooper ex Executioner from The Last Jedi where when they are trying to execute Finn and uh, Rose, I think. I watched The Last Jedi quite a long time ago so I can't really remember. I think it was Finn and Rose. When they were captured by first order so yeah i'm i'm just really excited it honestly it looks amazing to be honest it does look cooler than my boba fett i've already made a video of my bandai boba fett so you guys can go check that out i'll put the uh video up here so you guys can go check that out i reckon you guys should do that first because i explain what brand this bandai is how it how like the, the history of bandai i guess kind of uh and also just i just explained how you should uh put it together stuff like that so you guys should definitely go check that video out first then you can watch this one so guys before we get into unboxing this make sure you like this video then subscribe then also turn on the post notification bell so you know when one of my videos come out so yeah let's just unbox this so on the front as you can see we have the uh, stormtrooper first order stormtrooper and a stormtrooper executioner on the side uh, we have it from like all different angles the back view front view so yeah, looks really good. So yeah, let's get this open. Okay, so here we have the instructions, also the instructions on where to put your stickers later on. You have the uh, trays. Uh, just to let you know, in my Boba Fett video, I showed you an example on how you build it, uh, but I'll just, I'll, sh I'll just quickly show you again. So here are all the trays, quite a lot there. So guys, for example, when you're doing the head uh, and you want to find the, uh, I'm not sure, the, 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 the B1, the B19 piece, which is right, which is right there, that piece, you'd have to look for the tray that says B on it. So you'd basically look for the tray that says B on it, which, uh, B1 on it, which is this tray right here, if you can see that, B1. And you would look for the number nine, which is right there. So that's just an example on how you build it. So yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Let's just get into the build. So guys, now that we have unboxed it, I reckon it'll take me about four to five days, unless I make any silly mistakes to build. So yeah, just get straight into it. So guys, after a little bit, I was able to complete the uh, the helmet, the chest area, and the stomach area. At the moment, it's looking really good. I kind of like the way that the uh, the execution of Stormtrooper looks. You can actually build the normal First Order Stormtrooper in it, but you need to look for different pieces. And like these, the, the head part right here, the black and the white part, they're two separate pieces, but to make the normal Stormtrooper, you need one big piece which but they will tell you that in the uh instructions so if you want to make the normal stormtrooper i still think that will look really good so yeah so guys it is uh, day two of building uh the stormtrooper today i'm gonna try and get the uh, the waist and Hopefully the right leg, maybe even the left leg if I have time. I'm also just watching some clonals while doing it. So yeah, let's get right into it. So guys, uh, day two after about an hour of building, I finally complete the legs. The I think these are like pockets or something and I guess some other pockets so yeah it's looking really good finally that I've got the legs done it looks really nice so tomorrow I'm gonna try and get the arms done and then maybe the uh the, like the execution axe sort of thing so yeah So guys, it is day three. Today I'm gonna try and get at least one arm. I might be able to get two done. Uh, again, I'm gonna be watching some Clone Wars. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So 
So guys, as you can see, I have done both arms. Uh, it isn't completed yet, but as you can see, it looks so good. Uh, I still can't stand up, still like wobbly, so I'm going to be adding some blue tack on later on. But yeah, it looks so good. I finished uh, the arm, two arms in about, say about 45 minutes, which is pretty good. So it doesn't take too long. So I'm done for today and tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to finish the... Uh, electrical axe and also add some stickers onto them so yeah so guys today's day four and today i'm going to try and get his execution axe done and also if i can add the stickers onto like his shoulder parts so yeah let's get right into it as you can see i've added the stickers it's looking pretty good uh, i added it onto the uh the axe the shoulder areas and stuff like that as long as you just add it to where it tells you to it should look all right uh so yeah i recommend you use tweezers when doing it as it just makes it 10 times easier so yeah So yeah guys, as you can see, I have uh, added some blue tack onto his legs down there. Same as I've done with the Boba Fett. Just popped them onto the top of my desk and they, they look really good together. In my opinion, I think the coolest one is the Boba Fett because he is my favourite character and there's a lot of like colour in him. But, you know, this is just black and white but still it is honestly, it honestly just looks so cool. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. So guys, uh, it's been four days and I finally finished the sculpture and it looks amazing. The axe actually took me longer than I had expected because if you can see this, uh, the electrical parts are really kind of wobbly and flimsy. So I was worried that if I'd taken it off then I'd like tear it in half. So yeah, it took me quite a while. The stickers also look great, so yeah, honestly, it looks amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So yeah, let's just get into why I love these so much. I have, I've covered this in the Boba Fett video, but just in case you guys haven't seen that, let's just go over it. So number one is the amount of detail and how cool they look. So obviously Bandai have added so much detail, but I'm going to be talking about why I like this character. Uh, so basically I might have already, I, I think I already explained this while I was building it. Maybe I haven't, but basically you can actually build the Stormtrooper normal one, the normal first order Stormtrooper, because as you can see here, it has, these are two different uh, head pieces, the white one and the black one. You can actually put a full white one onto it and then white uh, shoulder pad, I think they're called sh uh, shoulder pads, I'm not sure, but, and then make it the totally white, normal Stormtrooper. But I really like the way that there's just a little bit of black onto this one and it just makes it look 10 times cooler. So yeah, and the amount of detail that Bandai puts into it, if it was like zoomed up, then I would honestly think that it was a real full on costume that they use in the films because of how detailed they are. Also, the stickers are uh, stickers aren't really that good. It also comes with these water D tools. I think they're called water D tools. Uh, let me let me just double check. They're actually called uh, water decals. I think they're pronounced water decals. Maybe water D decals. Probably not. <laughs> uh yeah so this is what they look like exactly like the stickers but the only the only way i could tell the difference is because of obviously it says water decals and it's actually sticky 
the whole thing actually sticks to you that so yeah uh i do actually recommend you guys use this uh just in case you don't know what these are when you were a kid you probably got those like little cigarette boxes but the things are like powdery sweets and then you can like chew on them but uh inside of them sometimes they have these sometimes they have these uh water tattoos that you would put on with like a damp towel or something and then you would take it off and it would be a tattoo on your arm uh so it's a bit like that but you would add this on to the uh the sculpture obviously uh so i do recommend you guys use that because i think that will look a little bit more realistic and obviously they won't peel off like the stickers but stickers are just a lot more easier a lot more quicker and if i was using the water decals i'd probably get my mum or my dad to help but they were busy so i just wanted to get it over and done with so yeah the stickers do look good but they they are a little bit creased and like not not the best but still i'm really happy with how the stickers turned out so you guys the second reason why i like is like this product is because of how sturdy and strong it is so for example uh this is the stormtrooper executioner really sturdy as you can see doesn't if i like do that doesn't really move around that much and just to let you know when i was adding this blue tack on the bottom i popped it on top of the shelf there and then it came down absolutely smacked down onto my desk but there wasn't a single scratch single dent none of it was broken it was just all intact and amazing so let me just compare that to my first ever bandai sculpture that i made this is uh this is uh the gundam from the show now as you can I'll fix that later on in a second. But yeah, as you can see, it's really, really shaky. And if I shake it even more, I'll probably break it. And 110% if it fell from up there, it would have smashed to millions of pieces. So yeah, I'm just I'm just like surprised how uh how uh badly built I've made this and how bad the plastic pieces are. Cause as you can see, they're see-through. It's like kind of transparent so yeah i'm uh, i'm gonna have to fix the hand in a second but yeah i'm just I, I was just really surprised when i got these products because of how strong they were so yeah i'm gonna put this back i'm gonna fix it uh later so yeah that's like definitely one of the reasons why i like these so much because of how strong they are so uh reason three is because of the price the price is quite cheap i was gonna get it from the english amazon and on there cost about 40 or 50 pounds i can't remember too much but it was around that and also it came it was gonna come 20 days after i purchased it which is just like way way too slow in my opinion but i bought it anyway and then my mom said maybe you should check on amazon japan because they'll probably sell it for cheaper and it might come quicker so i looked on there and it was uh, about and it was selling for i think about 2400 yen so guys uh right now i'm just editing it and uh, i did some research it is actually at the moment if you buy it now uh well it just depends when you're buying it i guess but right now it's a sale of uh and it's now 1900 yen but normally it is 2900 yen which i have and it is uh I've changed it into pounds and it is 18 pounds but if you buy it now it is only 12 pounds so yeah, it just depends when you're looking at it just make sure that it says uh, Amazon Japan and then you should be good and it was gonna come 10 days after I purchased it so I was like yeah I'm gonna cancel the English one and buy it from the Japan one so yeah I recommend you guys do the same uh so honestly I think it is quite cheap for this product uh, I thought it was gonna cost about 50 60 pounds because of how good they are how amazing and like just I was blown away with how good it was for the price so yeah so guys, those are the reasons why I love this so much now let's get into the cons there's only one con is that if you make a little mistake then it's gonna take you a while to fix that mistake so i'll give you an example while i was building this you were meant to i was meant to uh put on i'll put that out of the way i was meant to put the black headpiece on first and then the white after and accidentally i put the white on first 
and it took me ages to get it off and in the end I got my dad to wedge in a screwdriver and just absolutely flick it off and luckily it came off luckily it didn't break but honestly I was, I was really really worried because I thought it was just stuck and I just couldn't get it off no matter how hard I tried so yeah luckily I luckily my dad helped me out with that that's the cons but as long as you are good with this sort of stuff and as long as you just look at it properly look at the uh, instructions properly and make sure that you do every single instruction and not just be like uh, it, it, I'm just gonna look at it once and just do it because you're gonna it's, it's quite hard I was watching Clone Wars while doing it so I got a little bit sidetracked and I'm just like watching Clone Wars and just looking at it and doing it so yeah to be honest I recommend you don't watch TV or watch something while doing it because it's gonna you're gonna make a mistake in the end so yeah that's my only con so guys i really hope you enjoyed my video i 110 percent recommend this product to you it is just amazing it blew me away with how good it is so yeah uh also i recommend you guys go and buy it from the admins in japan and also you guys should check out my boba fett video which i'll again put up there uh, which will be up there uh, if you haven't seen it yet, then make sure you like this video, subscribe, and then comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. And I will see you guys in the next video.